Good morning, Trini. Good morning, Lucy. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm like thinking, I have too much stuff. <laughs> oh. I'm thinking that I'm really, you know what, I'm overwhelmed today because we're doing today faux fur. Oh, it's so exciting. That's so exciting. And I just have them in all different little parts of my home. So it's the first time today that I've brought them together on one rail. And it just made me go... And also, because last week I went to the shrimps sample sale, and I... This is how many people can identify this. I found the coat that I always wanted. Let me just start with this. I yeah. found the coat I always wanted. Okay. Right? And... Um, because I was so happy I found the coat I always wanted, I thought, what else is there? So I went and bought five other things, which two Lila will get over the next year. I hope she isn't watching this. But the other two, I thought to myself, oh, I don't know if I'm going to wear them. This is the thing mm. I went for. Which we love. Which we love. And it was uh, in her sale, and I got it for, I think I got it for £150 from a lot more. And I kind of, I think faux fur has come on a long way yes. since I first started wearing it. Yes. So, should we just start with the my journey into faux fur? Yes. Well, okay. I was going to ask, as you've got that shrimps coat yeah, on, like let's on. just talk about shrimps. Everyone copied shrimps, I have to say. Everyone copied shrimps. Um, all the especially high-end designers who now do faux fur copied shrimp. And the high street copied shrimp. So I would see her as the originator of this kind of looks nearly real faux fur look. Yeah. There were other people doing other things before, a bit shaggy. And the thing, kind of things that you put a, a match up to them and you know you're going to burn immediately. So she made it chic and luxury. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. Very true, actually. And we are obsessed. And we are mutually, Lucy, because yes. Lucy came with me to the sample <laughs> sale. We're mutually obsessed. But if I look here, I'm going to show you the first thing that I think I bought in my faux fur life. And that was this, which I have in two colours. And it's now a little tired, and I keep, when I'm looking at Carl, I keep thinking I'll get rid of it. But I loved it. It brought me so much joy. I wore it for so many filming sessions. And when I put, oh God, I don't, you see, the problem is this. Did you see what happened? I got an electric shock touching the metal. It's that fake. Um, but the color is very soft gray. The flow of the fabric, which now is looking, I look at it and it looks a bit tired. The length I love because it just, you know, I always used to wear a tight jean and it covered the bottom and it didn't hit me at the wrong place in my thigh or just at my bottom. So many redeeming features and the only thing, oh no, it did, it also had pockets. I got this, um, it was called, the I think it's called the West Village um, and it was on Kensington Park Road in Notting Hill and I got this one. Um, and I wore it to death and I wore it over things and under things and under coats. It seems to go on and then, oh, I went back a few weeks later and they had a plum one. Oh. So I got the plum one. And I like this one too. This had merit, this had a place and I would wear this with, you know, I'd wear it like I still would wear it like that with a lovely little bit of a shimmery thing underneath. Um, it gave a luxury. I remember it wearing it to Claridge's to the Christmas tree opening. You know, I really felt glamorous in this. And putting it on now, I mean, it, it's nice. Do you like it? Lisa? I really like it. I really like the length. I love the length. Yeah. Of the, oh, not the length of the jacket, the length the, of the fur. The length of the fur. Yes, yeah. it is. You're right. Because it's, it's got a... And this one, I don't know which... I mean, should I get rid of them? No. I know that's the thing. Sorry. That's the thing. It gives it so much movement because it's longer. Yeah. And it, it feels... It's that jacote. You know, it's, I love a jacote in my life. And I don't have many jacotes. Can you... Just for those of us jacket who might have a baby. Jacket and a, a coat. A jacket and a coat had a baby together and they made a jacoat. I have this Stella McCartney jacket like that. And sometimes I want something extra. It's actually a very nice shape. She invented, well, she didn't invent, but she was the first person to do that wonderful um, lapel. Lots of people then copied on the high street. That's the original. I remember seeing it on something. Same length, funnily enough. And I always wear over it a little sleeveless gilet when I'm cold. So the one I did wear to begin with is this from Reese. So I'm just, I'm, I feel, I don't know if I'll wear that again, but the principle of what it introduced me to, it must be about 10 or 15 years old, and the color is very good. And I like to wear a, a gilet over a jacket, because I think it still gives you the thin sleeve. And if you wear it under the jacket, you'll feel bulky. Yes. And so it places the bulk in a different location. Yeah. Last Christmas, 
Last Christmas I gave you my heart. But last Christmas I gave every girl in my office a variation of this Julia. I've got one here that I hadn't given away because I think we had how many? 25 of girls in the office. Um, all colours. Lucy, you got a white one. Yes. Which I maybe did. doesn't suit you because it's at your parents. Some people walk <laughs> in the office today. No, and it's wear at them. my parents because I don't have space in my oh, flat okay. for my winter wardrobe. So that one, which is the, this is the best company. Can I just tell you, this sells to Fennec. But I found the wholesaler, and I think it's called B Fur, but it was so good. Fake. But nothing. it feels, I mean, scrummy. It feels like a, it feels like a shrimp. Fabric. It does. It does. They, they are lovely. It has pockets. Yes, they do. So you'll find these in um, Fennec. This is a long one, and I love this length. I think this is a fantastic length. I gave this actually to a few friends of mine too, and they, they wear this a lot, but that's a very luxurious length and you feel it covers everything. You know, you might have a coat that feels a bit cold, get a sleeveless gilet and wear it over and not under. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I like that. A lot of faux fur now is, uh, it's warm. Like the shrimp's coat is really warm. Yeah. Um, so if I do this, this is a really good coat from Zara, but it's very bad against white fabric, so it picks it up. Um, so I could do that too. But frankly, I prefer the proportionality of the other way. I prefer it the other way, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. And you won't feel so bulky. Yeah. So I do like, of a day when I want to be smart casual, I do like putting the sleeves of a sequin jacket under a gilet. And then I don't like to show that. So usually I like the idea that it's sort of done up here and all you see is that sleeve. Yeah. I think it gives it gives the sleeve the most beautiful context in which to shine. Yes. Um, and be in a way more impactful because they're not with the the front facing bit of the jacket. But I, I for me that's a really easy good look. Does um, faux fur like velvet sort of have that light reflective quality to yes, it? Yes, I think it does. It I feels mean, it it feels much softer as black yeah. than if I was wearing you know, your flat black jumper. Yes. Because I think it's the depth of the pile. Yes. Because it takes in the light and it pushes it back yeah. out. And if the pile is very flat, it just becomes dense black. So this has a translucency to it because yeah. you can see as it goes on the bumps, it changes color. Yeah. My introduction to faux fur, which I also love my shrimp's coat very, very yeah. much, has been through you. And mm -hmm. I would never have thought to buy oh, really? faux fur okay. had I not met you. All right. So I think I always saw it as a bit... Um, Tacky? Maybe tacky. Maybe tacky. Yeah, like... I mean, I think you can see it and think that is tacky. You know, I can look at a few things. Like, is that yellow bird tacky? Yeah. This, this is like something that Lila wants me to keep in the wardrobe. But to me, that is mad. It's mad, but it's I don't mad. think that's tacky. No, and I put it on now and I think, whoa. I love so that. so cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, it, you know, when it was starting out faux fur, there were some very bad cheap faux furs. And I think you've got to really look at it and think, does it look bright and fab and luxurious? Yeah. That's, that's that feeling you want, isn't it? Because yeah. when women wore fur originally, it was definitely for warmth and it was for glamour. Yes. So can you, with faux fur, achieve both warmth and glamour? Uh, because I think that's what you associate with that kind of fabric. Yeah. It's a bit of glamour. Yeah, and I feel glamorous in my coat. You do? Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> this was last uh, year, and I was going past a boutique in Slow Street called Boutique One, and they sadly closed. And they always had clothes that I thought were way too expensive for me because I was on a real budget. But I went in, and everything was like 80% off, and I got this coat. And I put it on in the changing room, and I did a little story, and I was like, did you get that coat? So I rushed back the next day, and I got it for £180. It was a lot, lot more. And it's very heavy. Feel how heavy it is. Oh my goodness. Yes. Wow. So this is like, this is so mad because it's not beautifully cut. It's cut like I'm a gangster from the <laughs> 1930s. There's a, there's a shoulder about to take off at Heathrow, but I'm wearing a blanket. And on two days ago, it was so cold in London and I was uh, running around to meetings and wherever I was on the tube or in a taxi, I just felt I brought my central heating system with me. Oh, I love it. So warm. So more, and the colour also, I used to love this colour lilac. It's like a quite a strong lilac. But I, I do look at it and I think, you know, it's not flattering. It's not 
you know, the pockets are weird and Federico at the office, everyone was having an opinion. Should the pockets be higher? Should they be there? Should I make them internal? But then it would be straight down. It'd be like a dressing gown. So do I want to make the lapel look bigger so that the coat looks smaller? Do I want to lift the shoulder and bring it in? There are so many things I could do with this coat. If I brought the shoulder in, the pocket would look like it's going out even more. So I think I've just got to go with the flow and say, cold days in London, this is my coat. Yeah. Yeah. I love the colour. The colour's so good. This was actually my second big purchase from Stella McCartney. She's very good at that faux fur moment yeah. or alternatives to it. And I love the structure of this coat. I wore this coat literally every day for two years. And it's just, you know, it's a little, it feels, oh, I got a pair of sunglasses, no glasses. Um, I always <laughs> buy it in your coat pockets, do you? Um, but it has this, I, I like the just crossover. I like the fact it's slightly egg shape. Yeah. Um, and I wore it with, with a mini, you know, when I first got this coat, which was five years ago, I was wearing mini skirts. I remember I had a little shorter line mini skirt. So my confidence in my legs, I'm thinking from 50 to 55 has really changed because now I do it like this. I had that, but I lost it for a year. Oh, okay, where was so, it? Yeah, I lost it. It was in a cupboard and I lost it. And I was so upset. So I was in Topshop one day and I found this. Um, faux white fur. So I thought, okay, I don't have the Stella one, I'll get this one. So then I got this one, a bit shorter, but really great, still cream, so I have to wear white with it, something in this pocket as well. <gasps> da, da, da. Da, da, da. Five pounds, and turn the, oh my God, 50 pounds! What? Oh my God, I always go through every bloody pocket! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, so Topshop do do quite good faux fur. Uh, the colour of this is slightly off, but this is a great faux fur. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, if I had to say I have to get rid of these. And then this is where I was really naughty. This is where I was naughty. So then the following year, I found that coat, had this coat. And then this year, knowing I had this coat and this coat, I was doing coats for Chloe and I went and I found this at Reserved online. And I was actually, I was doing something You magazine originally, and and I just thought, oh, that's beautiful because it reminded me, Lucy, of that first one I showed yes. you, the pale grey. Yes. When you were talking about that length, yes, that that length of it, cream is on its own diabolical on my skin tone, but with white it works. Yeah. And it needs to be a slightly high neck. So reserved, really good faux fur. That's so cool. It's nice. Isn't yeah, it? I love it. I mean, if you had to. Say I had to get rid of one, which one would it be? Uh, the top shop. It would be. Yeah. Yeah. Can we talk next about faux fur animals? So with this coat, I think what I loved is I love leopard and to see leopard in its furry state without it being a poor old original leopard, you've got to get it right because there's some people who can do faux fur leopard and it's like, ooh. And I then think, thought to myself, when I saw this, I thought, I love that cobalt blue. How do I feel about a bright colour and leopard together because it can be, it can look bad. But I had bought a handbag in this shade and I tried the coat on when I had the handbag with me, which is such a big mistake. You should always have a coat in your cupboard which gives life to your face when you're tired. Yeah. Um, so for me it's sequins, but this coat is that. So when I buy something, I have to have a purposeness about it. And you can think of, my God, how many purposes, uh, purposeness is. And I know the fur, will stay nice. It's that kind of faux fur. It will not get tired looking like the top shot one maybe. Yeah. And also I don't like if I do that. I'm scared now. Oh yeah I did you see. <laughs> because I'm on a carpet and I'm doing this. Yeah. And then I'm going there. And also you know how much energy I have in my hands Lily? <laughs> this is a sign of how much energy because I could create a spark because I have so much energy in my fingers that when I wear this, it kind of exasperates the energy. I could literally give Lucy an electric shock. Do you want to oh, try? Well, okay. You ready? Yeah. Scared. No. Nothing. Oh, okay. oh, phew. Gosh, I survived. <laughs> I got scared I was going to get one from you, actually. All ah. right. Um, I discovered a new person who works with Fofa when I was in Dublin. Ooh. Such a cool woman. Joanne Himes. Yes. And um, I love discovering really amazing designers and I didn't know Joanne. She's a really famous designer in Ireland and she designs a range for Duns. And she also does some of her own things too. But this, Ooh. I don't know if this was for Duns or this is her. 
but this is feel that faux fur. Oh, see, so yeah, I got it there. That's sharp, yeah. Um, and it's beautiful. It's got no shoulder pads in it, which worried me, and it's three quarter length sleeve. But I just loved the madness of this. I felt this had elements of Alice in Wonderland about it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there was the sort of there was the kind of mad hatter. You know, why is there that random uh, triangle there? I love her design aesthetic. I love the fact she throws these colours together. The black isn't near the pink, which I adore. It's just near the blue. Yeah. Um, and I think that it's an accent of fur. She's got one lapel going in and one lapel going out. Oh, that's cool. You know, it's not like that's not how you're meant to wear the coat. The coat is like that. And I just think, yeah, I love that. I yeah. love how she's thought it through. I've got three examples here of leopards. Uh, all from different places and they one of them isn't a leopard it's a kind of faux snake skin um so let me start with the middle ground this is from top shop and i would call it faux fur because it's it is faux fur but it's a very flat have a feel oh yeah it's a very flat faux fur but what i liked when you buy a leopard faux fur be really aware to feel that um it either is beautifully um you know, the colour is perfect for your skin tone because <gasps> all these kids. Glasses again, somebody's business card and a lighter. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so I could do this all day long. So um, I would be aware to choose a colour that really suits you in um, an animal print and just feel that it hangs well because when you get fur faux fur like this it needs to hang well if it's inexpensive to look nice yes but i do love it i put it on now and i think that is a good color combination for me yeah. it's a good balance of black and um and a brown yeah there's not that um huge contrast between yeah. the two colors so then i have got two more and one is kind of great and one isn't um and they're they were bought impulsively okay so i had not got this out yet this is just my thought process i had not got this out yet and it was i think september and i was in h i was in and other stories and i went in because i thought oh that's a really heavy coat for this time of year i remember thinking that and i thought god what a great interesting pattern it's not leopard it's not snake skin it's kind of like they've just gone and done an animal print really i mean would you say snake skin yeah yeah okay snake skin then lucy thank you i just feel that it wouldn't be so taupey in the background snakeskin. There'd be more of a contrast. Yeah, it's, well, yeah. it's definitely inspired by... It's inspired by snakeskin. Yeah. But what I liked about this coat is it's really beautifully made from and other stories. It hangs really well, but the colour is not 100% me. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure. You know, it hasn't got that richness to no, it. of the other one. Yeah. But it's still, it's a very nice cut. And I just thought if I'm ever wearing beige, I'd wear this, but like, I don't suit beige, so what was I doing? So let me just take something that feels a bit faint. I'll tell you what it might look very nice with. That's Joanna Himes. Oh, cool. Things, but maybe pink, mm -hmm. you know? You need something with that. Yeah. Because I think you you don't want to go in with a bright purple or red or whatever. It would kill it. You've got to keep it soft. Um, or actually, you know what I could do it with? Is I could do it not so gold as this, but you could do it with a Lurex. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it would change the colour. Mm -hmm. Having had such a good abstinence, September, October, I really, I've been, I went a bit mad at the end of October, beginning of November, and now I'm thinking I want to take everything back and it's too late. I think in the period of three weeks, I bought three coats. I did buy three coats, right? This is like confession time. So I got that. That was September though, but I'm including that. No, not September. You didn't shop in September. Oh, October, October. I got that, like literally the 1st of October, I must've got that. Okay. You're right, I didn't shop in September. I knew I'd had a bit of clear breathing space. Then I got this, which I took with me. And then, this is the killer. The Giambo Stavale H&M sale came along when I was in Dublin and I was obsessed and I said to Africa, get everything, just get what you can, just get what you can, it's amazing. So. She got this, and now oh. I got this in two sizes. This is extra small, so it's a bit too small for me to close it. But the big is really big, because it's um, in the men's section. Oh. Yeah, it was in the men's section. That's why what's so amazing, look how long the sleeve is. Mm. For me, look at that sleeve, yeah. Lucy, you and I. Yes. That sleeve is like, have we ever seen that sleeve in a coat? For a no, moment? no. Go in the men's department. Lila started shopping in the Zara men's department. Do you know that? 
Why? Because she said, I think it's cooler clothing. Oh, cute. God, she's quite stylish. She is. So this has a collar that Shrimps has a lot of, yes. which is the round collar, which does not suit me. Yes, and you told me to avoid that as well. I know. And I have to ask myself why it is you and I don't look so good in a round collar and why other people do. So my initial thoughts on it are this. Whenever I meet a curvy, petite, rounder person, like a rounder sweetheart neckline face and petite, Princess Connor is divine on them divine looks fabulous yeah whenever i meet a tall angular person yeah i think this looks like we're trying to be too girly okay yeah you know there's only so girly i can go as a tall angular relatively flat-chested woman um whereas i think if you're curvy and petite yes you can go so girly yeah you can be everything of the most ultimate girliness there is so if you're a tall angular and you've got these kind of you know collars in your cup and you're thinking i never wear that coat get rid of it or or turn it in a Here it comes. So, this is really what I do and what I will do to this coat is I will make it like the other shrimps coat and I'll make it just um, colorless. Yeah. It's just going to be much better. And once the color isn't, once the color isn't there underneath, that's just so much nicer. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So that's the trick girls. It's just lob off the colors and I won't do this my scissor trick now because it would just be too much. Um, but that's just nicer. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's better. Something Look, it's fifty pounds. It's mine. No, it's a GM Buster. Ah, <laughs> uh, didn't discuss scarves. Yeah, I was going to ask one about of my favourite scarves. This, can I just say, I don't know if Warehouse will ever do it again, but this is like the warmest, coziest, most fantastic scarf I ever bought for like twenty nine pounds in Warehouse, and it's. I wish they would still make it. I wish they would make it in five different colours because it's masterful. And if you have a coat that isn't fur. It sits inside and it keeps you so snug as a bug. Um, it was like, sometimes you have high street stores and you think, never go in there. And then they do something like this and you think that's so clever. And I wear it with pink and burgundy and red. And it, imagine if I had one in turquoise and navy and green. Oh my God. Or yellow and white and gray. Oh my God. You know, yes. it would be, it would never be off me. So I hope that gave you inspiration, um, Lucy. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's something that everyone should have in her life, and um, you know, it, it's warm and cozy and glamour and, and fun. And fun. Yeah. Until next time. Bye. Bye.